Hello everyone, I am Deepak Nyal and I welcome you to the series of tutorials on C++. So the topic we are going to study today is very important and it is going to help you in multiple topics we are going to study in coming lectures. This will be also helpful if you are working in some project or working in industry with uh, some C++ programs. So the first thing you should know that we are talking about this topic, placing a class in separate file. So what is the use of this? Why we are doing so? Because we want reusability and how it achieves reusability? Let me show you a program. You must have done a lot of programming if you have came so far in the course. So if you have seen my previous tutorial, you might be knowing that we have created a lot of programs as you can see on the left side. And one of the programs that I am showing you on the screen is using a string. So is it possible that you can provide your this program to someone else and he can use it directly? So the simple answer to that is no. You cannot provide your program like someone else has provided this string library function or this string thing to you and you are using it just by including this statement has include and then angular brackets and the string and you are using it here, right? So you cannot provide your these files to someone else and use in their programs. Even you cannot use your own programs in other classes or other programs. And what is the reason behind that? Or how can you create something that others can use in their programs? So that is the problem, right? That, that is your problem statement. You want to create something that others can use in their programs. So the first step of solving a problem is to understand the problem. So we have a problem that you want to create something and want to use it in other programs. So what you should know about? So you should learn why someone is not able to use your program directly. So when you have created a program, you can see it here. It has a main function, right? And we know that when we have a one program, it could have exactly one main function, right? So when you pass on or when you provide this program to someone else, it will have this program and also his own main function. So in that way, he will have two main functions, right? So whenever you will try to compile this program with two main function, it is going to give some error and this program will not compile successfully. So that is the main reason behind this that you cannot provide your own program to someone else or use it in your own program. So what is happening here? Whenever you are placing main in the same file, it is preventing the class from being reused by the other programs. So first thing you have to break here is placing main in the same file. Clear? So now we will break our program we have seen earlier and we'll keep class and this driver function which we call main function in separate files so what i'm going to do i will create a program first and then i will break it into two parts clear so let us start okay so here i'm going to create a class gradebook as we have studied before put semicolon at the end so that it will mark the end of class definition now i have to put a access specifier which is public and then define some functions over there so this is constructor which is going to accept a name variable and then from that it is going to call a function set course or i can write set course name and it will pass name to that function clear so we should have a set course name function here which is going to accept this name and then we will have a course name and it will be assigned name clear when we have set course name we should also have get course name and get course name is very easy function it will just return this course name other than this you can create one more function which is 
display message and it is not going to do much it will just welcome you to the course and then I will get the course name right and then ENDL at the end clear one thing that we have not written that is variable name and variable name is course name now you can see we have this class gradebook ready now you have to create a driver program int main and what this main function is going to do it will create some objects here maybe gb1 gradebook and then i will write course name or one course is c++ and we can write another course here which is cyber security so this has created some objects now i will print those things out i can pass message grade book one created for course and then course name how you are going to get that gb1 dot get course name and then endl right similarly for the gradebook 2 gradebook 2 created for course gb2 and then course name right so try running this program we'll see whether this is running fine or not g++ driver program dot cpp it has some errors let me check what are the errors so this is gb1 i have to make it gb2 now i will compile it again and now it is running fine right so the gradebook 1 created for course op with c++ and gradebook 2 created for course cyber security so now you can see we have created a program but this is a single file single source file and it has extension .cpp now when building an object oriented c++ program it is customary to define reusable source code such as a class and that should have a file with extension .h so let us create .h file and by convention it should have name gradebook .h I will write it like this ok so this is header file it should have this class definition so pick everything from here cut it and paste it here now this has whole class definition and now this is driver program so what is the benefit of doing this you can provide this gradebook dot h to someone else he can create his own driver program like this and use this class in their own program okay so remove a dot out first and then try to compile this program gradebook dot h there is some warning but there is no a dot out file it has not given us any a dot out file so we can't execute that file right try to compile this file whatever we have got and we are not getting any name this is the file here you can see grade book dot h dot gch and this is saying permission denied because we don't have any file which is executable file here and this file cannot be executed because it does not have any main function so what you have to do you have to execute this file now try to compile this and when we are compiling this this has some errors use of undeclared identifier c out and all that so let me do one thing try to include io stream here and namespace std so can you guess whether this will work fine or not now see it again error unknown type name gradebook so this is not able to identify these two things why because this gradebook is user defined data type and we are using a data type user defined data type here but it does not know where it came from so what you have to do you have to include it like you are including iostream and for including that you have to 
put two quotes like this then grade book and name dot h and why we are doing so why we are not using this angular bracket can you use this let us try to use this first and then we will understand why we are using double quotes file not found with angled include and it is saying that we should use these two things right now try to do this I will compile it again it has compiled successfully and we have a dot out file here now try to run a dot out file and this has run successfully so what was the reason behind this when we are using angular bracket compiler looks for this file in the standard directory right but when we are including this double quotes that means it will look in the current directory first and then if it is not found it will go to the standard directory so when we included angular bracket here it directly looked into the standard directory but this file was in this current directory and so we missed it so always try to include double quotes when that header file is in current directory right so this is how we separate these two files and now this gradebook.h is reusable so these programs use has include preprocessor like this by using these headers we take advantage of reusable software components so you must have learned that our task is so simple we have to include class in one and rename that file using class name dot h and that is the convention and in another file we have to keep the driver program so this way you have separated these files one important thing that you have to note down here is if you are providing this code to anyone so look at the code in this way you have revealed the whole code right but one important thing of whoop is you should hide as many things as possible and client should know only what function to call and what argument to pass so what uh, information should client have only this thing that we have a constructor gradebook and it is taking argument string name or it has function void set course name and it is taking this argument as parameter all the implementations should be hidden from the client but in this case we are providing every detail to the client and that is very dangerous okay so we should not reveal any implementation to the client and suppose client has this code right and if any implementation is being changed clients need to recompile the whole code that is also not a good idea so what we are going to do in the next lecture we are going to hide the details or implementation and make it easier to change the implementation so in the next lecture we will meet with this new concept and that is also a very important concept in the object oriented community so i think this discussion is enough for this lecture in the next lecture we will proceed further and discuss how can we hide the details or implementation from the client right so if you have any doubt or query regarding this till now you can write in the comments and i will try to respond back to it okay so see you in the next video with some new concept till then thank you so much